good afternoon and well i'll say afternoon because the time now is three o'clock and um it's the first time i'm actually recording this video stroke intro and um, before i get too much into detail my name is francis o'brien and i'm very excited to um start my own youtube channel it's exciting for me. I know a lot of YouTubers have done a hell of a lot of work way before me. So for that, respect goes to them because it's not easy. I can't tell you how long it took me to set up just to get the right camera angle and the lighting and to find the right space in my flat to prop the camera so that I can get the utmost light that I can get. So as you can see, I've actually propped the camera <laughs> in front of a window so you can see some of the reflection right here so anyway um if you do see that and half of my body actually before i even point at the wall half of my body is already <laughs> with the reflection so i do apologize for that um but anyway as i said my name is francis o'brien and you know i'm very excited to um record this intro it's been a long time coming i must confess it's really been a long time coming and um a lot of things have happened in my life and in my space and i think this is the right time for me to now come out which is very different especially for me because i'm an introverted individual i don't usually you know expose myself <laughs> or talk about my life um to say the least some of you may have already um you know heard me on radio if you haven't um i do my own show which is called Intimate Conversations with Francis O'Brien. But that was, I launched that I think around February and then I'm on break at the moment on radio. And then I've been doing um, uh, the breakfast show every Monday to Friday for at least the past four years, which I think is what gave the stepping stone to, or gave birth rather to this show. So as I said in the beginning, if it's the first time you're, you're tuning into my channel, this is Intimate Conversations with Francis O'Brien. Now, I'm very excited to announce that um, it's a story basically to, or rather it's a channel that is, uh, or that I created or that God put in my heart to create, to reach out to people and um, particularly to women. Now, I know thousands, millions probably of these kinds of videos have been released, you know, um, on the YouTube platform. But I believe that everybody should get a chance to at least air their views or at least give testimony to what it is that they've been through. Not everybody is willing to talk about the things that they've been through. Not everybody is willing to share their very intimate stories. But I believe that with the journey that I have passed, I'm ready to come out and share my story you know, with the world and with you guys. And hopefully the stuff that I share with you is going to be very inspiring. It's going to be very motivating. It's going to be encouraging. And I pray that what, what I share with you is, is really going to change your life because ultimately that's what I hope for. The slogan of my show, stroke, my show, when I say my show, please forgive me because I'm actually talking about my radio show. So when I say the slogan of my show, I'll be talking about intimate conversations with Francis O'Brien. It is healing one heart at a time. I feel that the most important thing that people need to do is to heal. There's a lot of pain. There's a lot of anger. There's a lot of bitterness. There's a lot of heaviness. There's a lot of resentment, especially when it comes to um, individuals, especially when it comes to people making certain decisions, either in relationships or in business or family relationships, etc. So I feel that, you know, we need to heal. And sometimes, more often than not, we move into relationships um, and we haven't quite healed or closed the chapter with a previous relationship. And as a result, we carry the baggage from that relationship into the next relationship. And it's a snowball effect. And until we learn the lessons that we're supposed to learn in the different relationships that we have, we will never, we will never give the best version of ourselves. So that's why I created this um, type of platform i feel or i believe through the help of the you know the holy spirit that i reach as many people as i can i reach as many women as i can and this is not specifically just for women it's also for men sorry if you guys see me glancing a lot out the window there's a really beautiful view but the, i'm i'm trying to get used to just focusing on the camera alone so 
bear with me on that one. I mean, it, it takes practice. And you know, when you're on radio, you know, you move your hands a lot and then you move your eyes a lot and you're talking, talking, talking and your eyes can dance everywhere. But now when you're in front of a camera, you've got to remember to remain focused. So forgive me if I don't, um, if I keep glancing left and right. So yeah, um, you know, I just want to share my story. And there's going to be many topics that I'm going to touch on. Really heavy, heart to heart topics. Um, I don't think, you know, some of the topics that I'm going to be talking about haven't been covered before. But I think it's always nice to hear different opinions from different people. And, you know, I never know or you never know who you may impact around the world with your version of your story. That's why I believe that when you pass through something and God takes you or delivers you from it, don't be quiet, but share your story. And it doesn't matter how you share it. And I feel it's more intimate if I actually converse with the camera or converse with the audience rather than a podcast and you just hear and uh, personally, I sometimes kind of drift from podcasts and please don't hold me to that. That doesn't mean I always do it, but it just depends, I suppose, on my mood on that day. So I'm very excited for, um, you know, my show. This right now is just the intro of Intimate Conversations with Francis O'Brien, healing a one heart at a time. So that's what I normally do when I'm on the radio. So if you see me doing it a lot, oh gosh, it's because I always do that. And if there's somebody out there, and please don't be offended by my statement, but if there's somebody out there that knows um, sign language and is willing to teach me um, healing one heart at a time in sign language, just that particular part, healing one heart at a time. If there's somebody out there in the world that, um, that, that could kindly teach me, I'd really appreciate it because when I say my show and I say the slogan, I also want to do it in sign language. Um, I don't know why I'm pulled to that. It's not like the rest of my content is going to be in sign language, but for that particular slogan, I just feel compelled to do it in sign language. So mm, I'd appreciate if somebody could um, at least you know, I don't know, record a video and email it to me or send it to me, you know, and stuff like that. Perhaps I'll leave my details in the description box below. It sounds funny to say the description box below because <laughs> all the YouTubers say that. So now that I'm getting, getting to say it, it's like weird. Ah, thank you, God. But anyway, um, so yeah, this is just an intro to the show. Next week, by the grace of God, I'm going to record or rather upload a video of my story. Um, this is not the first time I'm recording my story. As I said to you, I was doing the breakfast show before and then I also did my own show. So I was actually doing two shows at, a, you know, at the same radio station. And um, I'm going to record my story again, which is gonna be a little difficult, a little emotional. So if I do tear here and there, um, obviously, but I believe that I'm on a healing journey now, so. Um, I don't think I'll be, you know, talking about it with a lot of tears, but yeah, um, I'm, I'm really excited. I can't wait to start interacting with you guys. I can't wait to start hearing. And this is a platform women that I want all of us to start talking. I don't want us to bash each other. I don't want us to judge each other. Nobody's perfect. We all know the cliche. Nobody's perfect. And nobody knows how to do anything through, you know, anything in life, you know, or through and through. We all learn through mistakes. There's no manual to life. The only manual I think that exists is the Bible, nothing else. So when we hear other people's stories and they've survived certain things and they, they come out of it, it's it's going to be something, you know, it's something that I think should be shared. More importantly, what's driving this show, like I said, is the healing element. But other than that, I feel that... Um, I actually lost my thought process there. But I think it's important that, you know, when we uh, talk about our stories, everybody has a story to share. Everybody has a story to share. And I think it's very important that we get together as sisters and we talk about these issues. I will be concentrating a lot, I feel, on emotional abuse. It's a very sensitive topic. It's a very difficult topic to talk about because emotional abuse is something very internal. It's not like physical abuse where you can actually see the scars and the marks and, you know, the bruises. And that's not to undermine. Please hear me well. I'm not undermining physical abuse. Rather, I'm just talking about a different form of abuse, which is really um, kind of difficult to either explain. And that's what I went through in my previous relationship. So, um, you know, I hope a lot of ladies will eventually listen to this intro and will really look forward to, you know, hearing my life story next weekend. So, yeah, that's it for my intro. I can't believe I'm done. And how long did it take me? 
It took me about 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes. So yeah, um, I'll try and make my videos as short as possible, but expect that they may be more than half an hour long because there's really a lot of content that I'd like to get through. Some of the content I already recorded it and um, it's in podcasts and it's on the radio station website. If you're interested in some of the content, um, it's www.dexteryradio.co.za, which is www.dexteryradio.co.za. And then under the motivational section, I think on the tabs at the bottom, at the top rather, then you can select motivational and then you'll see um, intimate conversations with Francis O'Brien. Like I said, I look forward to hearing from you guys. I look forward to um, interacting with you. I look forward to hearing a lot of the stories coming from you women. And let's have a heart to heart. But more importantly, I just, I'm concentrating on healing. That's, that's, that's my core right now. I'm just concentrating on healing. The reason why I'm actually, now I'm actually exceeding my video recording. The reason why I'm actually starting with an intro to my life story is because I don't want a situation where it feels like when I throw a comment, I'm being judgmental or I'm an insufferable not all. No. When I throw a comment, it's because on certain things, I will be having actual experience on it. I don't want you to feel like I'm just throwing an opinion and I'm just judging people and I'm just thinking that um, I can go throwing judgments and uh, opinions, you know. Obviously, everybody's entitled to the opinion. But, um, you know, I'd like to just share what I feel and what I think. And by the grace and the guidance of the Holy Spirit and of God Almighty, I pray that I'll be able to at least give some, um, um, some wisdom to some ladies, to some young women. Who will, who will have passed or who are passing through what I passed through. So, yeah, I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say. Um, if you'd like to follow me, my Facebook page is Francis O'Brien, F-R-A-N-C-E-S, and then surname is O apostrophe B-R-I-E-N, that's Facebook. Instagram is lady.francis, excuse me, and then my Twitter account is F V O. B R I E N F E O B R I E N. So, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful and a blessed week. I can't wait to sit down and record and get my content out there and, you know, interact with you ladies and some of the men, if some of you have got opinions. Like I said, I'm going to be very brutal and I'm going to be very honest. I'm going to talk about some of the, you know, things that we do as women that we shouldn't really be doing. They don't exactly put us in, you know, the right space or the right frame of mind, either mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Um, and yeah, I mean, no guru, by the way. I'm just an ordinary chick that has passed through something and I just want to share. Um, I don't believe if God has blessed me to be a motivational speaker in time, then I suppose that's going to be what I'll do. I'm not a relationship counselor. I'm not a pastor. I'm just an ordinary chick, you know, that decided to just share her story, you know, with the world. And I pray. And I believe that the content that I will share, a lot of women are going to relate to it, especially on the element of, of you know, um, emotional abuse. It's quite an extensive topic. It really is. So um, I look forward to sharing that with you. So next week, look forward to my video on my personal story. And um, <clears throat> just so you know, I got glammed up just for this specific video. <laughs> so they're going to be weeks <laughs> where I am going to be as plain as a sheet of paper. Because I think it's more important for me to actually get, <laughs> I think it's important for me to just get the information out rather than, you know, be concentrating on my appearance. Not that there's anything wrong, but I think it's more important for me to just worry about you understanding me and you feeling me and you getting me. And, you know, um, rather than you concentrating on my appearance, I'm not really whatever but anyway if you hear a sound in the background that's just an airplane hovering around so forgive me if the lighting is not good forgive me if the sound is not good with time by the grace of god i'll be able to you know purchase equipment but for now i'm going to suffice with just the gadget that i'm using now to record so yeah i look forward to the next video so i'm going to sign out and this is going to be Intimate Conversations with Francis O'Brien, healing one heart at a time. Until next week, stay blessed and may God bless you abundantly. Bye.